Hi. Hi. First of all, thank you for dressing up. Oh, well, you're welcome. But also, it's not for you. I'm actually in the middle of a tech rehearsal right now. They think I'm in the bathroom. Tonight is the biggest show of my entire life, and I am terrified. Biggest show of your life? Let yes. me guess. Is it the Abbey? No. Mickey's? No. Schlong's? No. And that place closed. Where is it? The Hollywood Bowl. That bowling alley on Hollywood Boulevard? No, 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 no. The real Hollywood Bowl. How the hell did you get a booking at the Hollywood Bowl? I was on a TV show. <laughs> what TV show? Drag Race. Never heard of it. Yeah. Well, Jackie, I don't know what to do with myself. I... It's Dr. Jackie. Oh, I'm sorry. Dr. Jackie, I don't know what to do with myself. I, I, I'm terrified. All of these resentments are coming up. I feel so... Resentments? Yes. That's the poison. That's the poison. I was wondering, look at this beautiful, vivacious, show pony vaudevillian. You're a star, honey. <sighs> And then I was like, what is poisoning this magic? Resentment. Oh. That's what we have to get to. We have to get to the bottom of this. We have to get to the resentments. You need to let that go so you can give 110% to those people who are going to the Hollywood Bowl to see you. Because yes. you were on a TV show. <laughs> I didn't even win. <laughs> So, I want to try something very controversial. Okay. And no, it doesn't involve having sex with you. Thank God. I can't do that anymore. I want to do something called primal scream therapy. As long as it's not cultural appropriation, because I don't want to be canceled. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's very effective. What is it? It's sort of like an exorcism, if you will. It's going to be like you actually throw up those poisonous resentments, so when you get on stage at the... Hollywood Bowl, the Hollywood Bowl tonight, you can really, really be in the moment, okay? All right. Do you trust me? No, but I'm desperate. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right, so prepare yourself. Picture it, the resentment. It's boiling inside you like lava, like explosive diarrhea. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yes, ever... all too well, uh-huh. I want you to imagine every club owner who wouldn't hire you before you were on that TV show, not even for a lousy $50 gig, huh? I busked for so many years outside that train station. And I want you to imagine every boyfriend or girlfriend, listen, I don't know what your lifestyle is and I don't care. That's not what this session is about. Thank you so much for your openness. But they dumped your ass just because you gained a few pounds over the holidays. Okay. I want you to think of that editor over there at that drag race television program. You know, the one that like splices and creatively makes you look bad even though you didn't say things and, and they... Okay, so you do watch the show. Of course I do. And finally, I want you to picture your dad who clearly didn't love you. Okay, shows what you know. I don't even know my dad. All right, let's move on. Are you ready for the scream? Are you ready to throw up the poisonous hate and resentment? I will try absolutely any... Do you smell clove cigarettes? No. Okay. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. I'm ready to try... Okay, do you smell nail polish? No! Nice try. Let's fucking do this. Ready? Okay, I, crap, did that statue just move? This is a classic diversion tactic. Do you wanna do this or not? Do you wanna get better or not? Why are you sabotaging yourself? Uh, that statue actually just moved. Look. WTF, that is not a statue. That is my son, Larry. Mom, how many times do I have to tell you? Larry is dead. The name is Batwing. Uh, I am so sorry, Brenda Lee. I am here for you. Just please pretend like he's not even here. It's, uh, it's his birthday, and uh, I promised to take him to the cemetery to have a picnic. Uh, we planned the whole thing before you booked your emergency session. The good news is, as long as he's here, you're not the most fucked up person in this room. <laughs>